Hey there. Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. It is time for our full circle discussion where we like to spend a little time discussing a subject that's important to us and hopefully very meaningful to you. The hashtag living while black refers to the seemingly new trend of calling the police on black people for well living. Uh, doing things like sitting in a Starbucks, fouling uh, in a game of basketball, shopping at CVS or napping at their college campus and mm. having to justify these actions mm. to the police. Mm. The recent string of events causes one to wonder is there a new trend or are cell phones and social media allowing us to examine a pre-existing condition here in America. Absolutely. Uh, yes, ma'am. Absolutely mm -hmm. it is. Yes, ma'am. Uh, thank God for the cell phones and mm -hmm. the African-American men who uh, brought the, the technology forward. Yes. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. Uh, listen, if we did not have cell phones and cameras and videos, we are already the, the thrown away and the, the, the people who uh, others like to, to say, uh, well, you know, they're negative people, they're, they're evil people, they're mean people, you can't trust those people. But guess what? When we bring out the proof, we have receipts. Mm -hmm. So it's good that we can take our phone out and say, you know what? Keep acting ugly. Mm -hmm. I got you on camera. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 You know, <clears throat> I wonder if, when I think about people just picking up the phone um, and calling the police on African Americans, what are you saying? Mm -hmm. um, in, a, in a society where we have seen police officers shoot to kill, what are you saying? Mm -hmm. Is that what you want? Is that the, mm -hmm. the result that you want mm -hmm. when you call the police? Is that what you have in mind for a person that's napping or at Starbucks? Do you think that by calling the police, this is the result, this is the, that they're going to get a, a, a punishment? Mm -hmm. what, are you, what are you saying when you do that? Yeah. Hmm. Um, when you know for a fact that it can be detained a different way. Yeah. yeah. And, oh, it yeah. Can, you know, and, so and it can be... For a fact that it can escalate quickly. Mm -hmm. it's, well, that's what you're yeah, wanting. But like, that's is that what, what they're you're wanting. saying? That's right. exactly what they're wanting. Is that they're what you're wanting. saying? And that's, that's, that's very interesting to me because that wasn't the case before. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We were, we were in a society that was a little more conscious of that. Mm -hmm. And maybe an argument might uh, occur or something like that, but it's interesting how to pick up the phone and call the police is your first knee-jerk reaction. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Uh, well, and, well, this is because they look at us like animals. Oh, my God, she's sleeping. The animal may wake up and she's going to roar at me. What? So, Let's call the police. Right. This is, this is, honestly, there are some people out there who think that African-American people are very barbaric, and mm -hmm. we know that to not be true. Right, absolutely. However, they're sticking to that narrative, and, and, and it's just the slightest thing. You know, kids are outside trying to sell bottled water so yes. they can go to Disney World. Or and, hot dogs. Or hot dogs. So they trying get to get school clothes. school clothes. And yet the police is being called on these kids. Just the other day right here in, in Georgia, uh, there was a kid, a nine-year-old kid, who was slammed on the ground and had a police officer to put his foot in his back as mm. if he was no more than a deer or some type or of trash. wild game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And see, mm -hmm. that's the thing I'm so, saying. You want us to have that punishment. That comes from a different place. That mm -hmm. comes from a place so, of hatred. So I, the, think, I think what is happening here is that the word, uh, I feel threatened. threatened. Right. Uh, oh, there are some key words that yeah, they like to dead. use. Words like threatened. Mm -hmm. uh, my life feel, I, 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 I'm scared or my life is, is in danger. danger. Aggressive. In danger. She was aggressive. That, yeah. yeah. Right. And then those people. You right, know, right, see, all right. of those. those so are trigger so words. the question was, is this a pre-existing condition Absolutely. here in America? Is. Absolutely. Yes. Um, you know, racism is not new to the United States. It's not new to these 50 states or 51. Um, so the thing is, it's not new. We have dealt with it for so long. I think it's become more, they've been given a pass since the current administration is in office. Or, People feel yeah, or, empowered mm -hmm. to do what they want to do and say what they want to say and call the police. And absolutely, Selena, I believe when they make this call, they're, they're not going to do anything about that. it. But they know that the police will come and do something. Now, whether the police will investigate what's going on, who's right, who's wrong, probably not. And I think they're banking on the fact that they won't. Would, Yep, and, and, and then you're banking on the it. fact that you think that the people that you're calling the police on will become the aggressor, oh, yeah. and then oh, yeah. all of a sudden there's a reason to, one, put see, your foot see, in his back and, and then take him to jail or shoot him dead. Yeah. So, unfortunately, I mean, this is not new, but we need to figure out a way. How do we deal the with the situation? Station, the police station Absolutely. needs to what take note to this. Mm -hmm. And, and I, what I would love to see, because... Again, not all police officers are this way. Not all police forces are this way. Right, good I would like to see um, the police force. I, I had a conversation with a state trooper when I was in. He was one of my security mm -hmm. um, guards, and he was telling me that they go through rigorous training. And I would like to see the police 
force or the police in the America, the world, say this is unacceptable, it's a waste of their time, mm -hmm. it's a waste taxpayer of their gas, money. it's a waste of taxpayer money, and put a, a penalty mm -hmm. on those if you have to come out. Mm -hmm. Just the same with domestic violence. Like, if you call call the police about on domestic violence, they have to take someone. Yeah. So you can't just keep calling just because y'all got into an argument. The same thing should happen if you call the police and it's not something like a big deal, you should have to go to jail. And, 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 and there, should, there should be a some type of cit citation yes. and yes. attached with or a fine. fine. Or yeah. Yeah, yeah, fine. Yeah, fine you $50 if your alarm go off and they got to come out there yeah. and you ain't home. Yeah. I got one the other day. Yeah. 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 Hello, yeah. somebody. You know what I mean? so they don't even leave the stickers saying that they were bitten. Exactly. Right. So how exactly. you know they were there? And I, and I know that you know the folks at 911 are doing their jobs, but I think some of the people that are fielding the calls are like, you for coupons right. and see this. You feel threatened for the coupons. Girl, bye. That's but, what yeah, the yeah, right. Walk away to this thing. Girl, bye. He right. found you on the basketball. Excuse me. Right. A foul. I, I got somebody who's here. dying on the other line. I'm going to yeah. get you back. Yeah. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Right. Yeah. Right. So I just don't, I'm, just, I'm, I'm just unclear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I no, think the you're police clear. force needs you're to very clear put what's happening. those fines in. Yeah. You should not listen. There need to be, again, consequences. Mm -hmm. Consequences and repercussions for things that people do. The problem is that uh, the nation is not accountable. There's no accountability for some of the things that are going on. And we're getting away with things that we're not supposed to and being penalized for things we're not supposed to. Can mm -hmm. I just... And being rewarded for things that we shouldn't be... Balance. Man, Can on. I just There's add no something yes. really quickly? It, it almost appears that a lot of people in our country... Um, it was something, something happened when Barack was the president. Mm -hmm. uh, it gave us all inspiration. We all felt motivated. It charged us. It made us proud as a people and as a nation, mm -hmm. okay, especially African-American people. I think that some people from other races um, feel like, you know what? They had their turn. They, they, yeah, their, their, com their confidence was lifted way too much. We need to put them back in their place. Van these these African-American people are getting mm -hmm. out of control. They're thinking they're smarter than us, and we need to let them know who's in charge. Yeah. Get in your place. You're nothing but an African-American person. Mm. And actually, I'm being very diplomatic when I use that word because they don't use that word. Mm. Yes. Well, How about that? Right. What she said. Right, right. And let's, you know, the, the, we're not saying everybody. No, but no, not everyone. Yeah. Right. No, but but, but, but the, the people that are showing themselves, yeah. that, that were, well, where I their want, slips are showing. Well, what happened to all of the people who believed in yes, we can? Yes. We have to band together again and rise up. And like yeah. you what said earlier, though, act, like you said earlier, because of so much hate, there is uh, love being shown. Of love yeah, as well. yeah, absolutely, the yin and the yang. But it's it's just it's it's terrible that we have to have a conversation about mm -hmm. somebody calling. In 2018, yeah. oh, yeah. 2018. You, put your, I, you put your earring on. Oh my God! Oh, call the police. I think, ladies, you blew your nose because right. you sneezed. <laughs> I mean, call the you know what was so, so un unfortunate about this whole conversation in the state that we're currently living in is people are scared for whatever reason. Mean for we are scared. African Americans okay. and those are different. Are well, scared we should too. be afraid. Right. We're getting we so here's, here's what I'm finding. Like when we, when Barack Obama was in office, we were very proud. We were every, not everyone, because everyone wasn't happy that he was in oh, office. Absolutely but not. those who were, they were very supportive. We, you know, was, the time has changed. Even his speech spoke to there's a different time in America now. But now that the new transition in the, um, in the administration, polar opposite. Polar opposite. And it's definitely giving people a pass to be who they really were. Absolutely. And they feel like they're losing the grip mm -hmm. on who they are. Like even like the Confederate uh, flag. And I gotta go. Yeah. At the well, end of the day, people are scared, and it's very unfortunate that we live in this climate, and that we should not be in a situation where we can't just. We, the world is built on different people, different colors, especially here in the United States. That's what we're built on being different, and we just have to learn how to live with each other Wait. respectfully. Well, you better hope. Living. You better hope that your eyelashes don't fall off in front of some Because somebody white gonna call the police. The girl. police will be called. On and then you got no duo. Her eyelashes fell off. I feel threatened. Say you got I feel like my life is in jeopardy. <laughs> oh my God! Somebody come kill me. It's a black woman. She's out of control. Oh, she's angry. And she's trying They're to use a coupon. They're going to call the police on you. Oh, oh my right God. Now. Right we're now. We're calling them, baby. We're calling them. Sister Circle we, said. We, right. Yeah, we call we, we got to get that Sister Circle off air. They're just out of control. <laughs> We'd love to hear what you uh, feel or what you'd like to say at Sister Circle TV on all of our social platforms.